Hello, and welcome to Tektronix. Today we're going to talk about how to utilize the math channel feature on a DPO and MSO 3000 series oscilloscope. So I'm using a signal generator to produce two waveforms. And these are just waveforms of arbitrary function and value. If I select math, you can see that I'm given a menu with dual waveform monitor math, fast Fourier transform, advanced math, and math label, as well as a new math waveform. Select dual waveform monitor math, and we can use multipurpose A to select our first source. And we are given the option of selecting either of our channels, or we could even select one of our reference waveforms that we saved earlier. But for now, we will select channel 1. We can use multipurpose B to select our second source. And again, we can select either channel or reference waveform, but for now we will select channel 2. Selecting operator, we can choose whether we want to add, subtract, multiply, or divide the two selected channels. And here I'm going to hide these channels just to make things clean and easier for viewing purposes. Select Fast Fourier Transform, followed by Fast Fourier Transform Source. And we can use Multipurpose A to select our source, which will be channel 1. We also have the option of selecting our units and our window, again using the Multipurpose A control. If you'd like to learn more about units and window, you can find a great deal of information about it in the user's manual. We can also manipulate the horizontal position and scale, using Multipurpose A for centerline position in megahertz. and multipurpose B for scale in megahertz per division. If you would like to learn more about Fast Fourier Transform and what it is, I have provided a link in the description to another video from the Tektronix team that is entirely dedicated to Fast Fourier Transforms. And now I'm going to bring the channels back into view for this next part just as a sort of visual tool or reference. Select Advanced Math, followed by Edit Expression we can backspace or clear the entire section. Using multipurpose A to scroll through our options, we can select our channels, operators, etc. The main purpose of this feature is to be able to construct and perform really complex equations. It even allows us to incorporate integers and other constants and variables. Our variables will be expressed in scientific notation. Selecting either variable 1 or variable 2, we can use multipurpose A to select any value between negative 10 and 10, out to four decimal places. Likewise, we can use multipurpose B to select any integer between negative 18 and 18 inclusively as our power. Selecting display expression on will show our equation in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. And selecting math label will allow us to name our math waveform. One last feature, just like our channels, we can also manipulate the vertical components of our math waveform. Using multipurpose A to adjust vertical position, and multipurpose B to adjust vertical scale. Thank you for watching our video. If you'd like to learn more information, please visit www.tektronics.com support.